Bill was our easy win, all conquering hero, who'd never been known to break sweat in his life. In the innocent look of an overage choir boy who'd just been seduced by the church warden's wife. <laughs> know how we loved him, we toilers and plodders, tortoises all with our shells full of care. We rejoiced in his effortless ache grace with no envy, for they taught us that tortoises always beat hares. But never believe what the schoolmasters tell you, the prizes in life never go to the fast. For if you went out on a blind double date, to hang on his coattails was always your fate. So Bill got the good one, and you got her mate. <laughs> but the tortoises always come last. <laughs> we both loved our cricket. We opened the innings. And runs by the bucket made old batsman smile. I kept my end up by nudges and pushes. But Bill was all backlifter and boundaries and style. I sat on the splice with my back straight and steady. Bill used his feet, used his arms, chanced his luck. I carried my end for a well-grafted twenty, but Bill got a ton, or more often a duck. <laughs> but never believe what the schoolmasters tell you, the prizes in life never go to the fast. For if I held them together, why then I might dare put across that my nudges had all done their share, but Praise was all for his beautiful square cut. For the tortoises always come last. Last match of the season, and we had to win it. And all they said was 103. <coughs> the pitch was a green and balls weaving and flying. It frightened the flash lads, but just suited me. But that was the day that the captain brought Mary his beautiful daughter, the light of his eye. She smiled and spoke softly, and hook, line and sinker, my heart turning back flips, I thought I might die. But never believe what the schoolmasters tell you, the prizes in life never go to the past. For love made me tongue-tied, to speak, I was chair and wary, and while I distithered, Bill wasn't so chary, and in night, no time at all, he had chatted up, Mary. For the tortoises always come last. The runs mounted slowly, the wickets fell quickly, and ran out early, a mile from the crease. I couldn't think why. Till I saw him with Mary in the long grass past square leg down under the trees. Last over, last wicket, and 36 wanted. <laughs> they brought on the spinner. I set up my stall. Six sixes would do it, and all over square leg to keep Billy occupied. <laughs> <back in the ball. laughs> But never believe what the schoolmasters tell you, the prizes in life never go to the fast. For if this were a Mills and Boom story I tell, my hits won the match and saved Mary as well. But the second ball sent my stump flying to hell. For the tortoises always come last. It's ten summers now since Mary wed Billy. She's left him, I hear, <laughs> and keeps house for her dad. Bill's old, bald and fat, and he's turned to the bottle. <laughs> and I can't understand why we're not feeling sad. <laughs> we all said we loved Billy. Perhaps we knew different. There's no way of telling we'll never be true. <laughs> But there's no greater feeling the old Chinese tell us than to see an old friend fall off a high roof. 
<laughs> so never believe what the schoolmasters tell you. The prizes in life never go to the past. Of I went to Court Mary. Of success I was sure. You were once a young creep and you're now just an old ball, was all that she said <laughs> as she showed me the door. For the tortoises always come last. <laughs> <laughs>